How can you determine the gender of a baby using urine pH levels? Hello everyone. In this video we'll be exploring an interesting topic. Can the pH level of a pregnant woman's urine actually predict the gender of the baby? This is an old wives tale that's been making the rounds for quite some time. Let's dive in and separate the science from the myths. What is the claim? The claim or belief here is that if the pH level of a pregnant woman's urine is less than 7, then she is likely carrying a boy. Conversely, if the pH is above 7, she is likely carrying a girl. The pH scale runs from 0 to 14, with 7 being neutral, numbers below 7 being acidic, and numbers above 7 being alkaline. How is urine pH measured? The pH level of urine is typically measured using litmus paper or urine dipstick tests. These are simple, color-changing strips that are dipped into the urine sample. The color change corresponds to a particular pH level, as indicated by the reference chart provided with the test. What does the science say? Despite the persistence of this tale, scientific evidence does not support the claim that urine pH can predict a baby's gender. The pH level of urine can be influenced by many factors such as diet, hydration levels, certain medications, and various health conditions. For instance, consuming foods rich in citric acid like oranges or lemons can make your urine more acidic, while eating a lot of vegetables can make it more alkaline. How is baby's gender determined scientifically? If you're really curious about the gender of your unborn child, there are scientifically validated methods available. Ultrasounds, which are often done around the 20th week of pregnancy, can often reveal the baby's sex, although they are not 100% accurate. More invasive, but also more accurate, are tests like chorionic villus sampling, CVS, and amniocentesis, which analyze the baby's genetic material. However, these tests are usually reserved for detecting genetic disorders, not simply determining gender, due to the potential risks involved. Another method is the cell-free DNA test, a non-invasive procedure that can be done after 10 weeks of pregnancy. This test analyzes the mother's blood for traces of the baby's DNA, which can be used to determine the baby's sex with high accuracy. But again, this test is primarily used to screen for genetic disorders, not solely for determining gender. To sum up, while the idea of predicting your baby's gender using urine pH might be a fun theory to ponder, it's not scientifically validated. When it comes to finding out whether you're having a boy or a girl, patience or a visit to your healthcare provider for a scientific test is the best way to go. Always consult with your healthcare provider for accurate information. We hope this video was informative and cleared up some misconceptions.